Today we're showing you how to make three delicious pasta recipes. Hey everyone, it's Jasmine. And Chris. Welcome back to another video. So we love pasta in this house and we wanted to make pasta recipes. So today we're just making some pasta for you. We're gonna have share three simple recipes that are perfect for any time of the year, any occasion, weeknight, weekday. So we hope weekend. you love them, weekend. Is that what yeah, I said? Yeah, you said weeknight and weekday. I meant weekend, weeknight. <laughs> but yeah, these are really great recipes. They'll all be linked down below. Um, so if you wanna make any of them, we definitely encourage that. Uh, but let's get cooking. The first recipe we're making today is near and dear to my heart. I grew up in New Jersey in an Italian-American household and baked ziti was a staple. Baked ziti is a bit, I don't know, I always said baked ziti. I don't baked know. Baked ziti. <laughs> we said a lot of weird shit. But this recipe is spot on to what I remember growing up and everything is perfect. We have a tofu ricotta recipe that we use for this and it's it's so good, so I'm excited we have an entire tray here to eat. But first, let me show you how to make it. First things first, we'll salt some boiling water and then cook our ziti to package instructions. As that cooks, we'll add some olive oil to a pan and saute some onions and garlic. After a few minutes, we'll add in some plant-based sausage. We're using Beyond Meat here, but you can use whatever you'd like. Once that's nice and cooked through, we'll add in some marinara sauce. We're using Rayo's. We'll also add in some Italian seasoning and some fresh basil and then mix everything together until it's fully heated through. Next, we're gonna whip up a quick dairy-free cheese sauce. We have some plant-based butter here. We're gonna melt that and then add in some mozzarella shreds and some unsweetened plant milk. And we'll whisk that continuously until a nice cheese sauce forms. Next, we'll layer everything together. We're gonna start with a thin layer of the sauce we made earlier, sprinkle over the cooked pasta noodles, then drizzle over the cheese sauce that we just made. Next, we're adding in some tofu ricotta. You can find the full recipe for this link down below. You can also use store-bought if you'd like. We'll continue layering everything until the pan is filled up. We did about four layers here, but depending Depending on the size of your pan, this might vary. From here, we'll pop it in the oven to bake. And as a reminder, this whole full recipe is linked down below as always. Once it's finished baking, we'll just finish it off with some fresh herbs, and then we are ready to dig in. Look how beautiful this looks. So I've never actually had big ziti outside of Sabaro. So until we like, made it for the- Until we made it for the blog. So like, <laughs> I didn't really, I mean, the Sabaro one was good. It's I the could, best pizza place in New York. <laughs> But this is like 3,000 mm. times better. It's so comforting. It's very decadent. Yeah, I feel like... It's very rich. You can't eat too much of this without like going mm. into a food coma, mm -hmm. but... Very filling. Mm. And for the ricotta, like we mentioned, you can just make ours or you can buy one at the store. Now there's so many options. I recommend making ours though. I do. I love putting the noodles like this. <laughs> you know? Line up four. Mm. I can't line up four because it's too thick, but I can do like two or maybe three. Okay, on to the next recipe. Before we move on to the next pasta, we're going to give a quick shout out to our sponsor today, which is Garden. If you aren't familiar with Garden, they have an indoor gardening system that's fully automated, so it waters itself. It has its own lighting system, and it's really convenient to use. We've had ours for about maybe like three, two or three two, years three now years. and we recently upgraded to the 3.0 system so the 3.0 system is not only more durable but it is easier to clean and also you can set it up in 10 minutes or less they also have a new hydro boost product that you can add to your garden which helps clean it which is a huge game changer uh, for keeping your garden in tip-top condition we also love the fact that you can grow herbs you can grow flowers, vegetables. We have so much on our garden right now and- Fruit it, too. Fruit, yep. We got some strawberries growing and it's also cool because especially in these recipes today, we use fresh basil from our garden, uh, this fresh thyme. It's really nice and it's super rewarding to watch things grow and change uh, day by day. I was just gonna say, we always buy fresh basil from the store, or not always, but when we buy fresh basil from the store, it turns black the next day and it's just such a waste. But with garden, we could just clip off whatever we need, not just basil, but any herb. Just clip off what we need, use it in the recipe and the rest is there to grow 
for the next time we need it. And it's so convenient. And also here in the Pacific Northwest, we can't grow food in our garden outdoors year round. So this is nice because we can do that with the garden and you don't have to have it in a room with light since it has its own lighting system. You can do it anywhere you want in your home. You can even stick it in a closet and it will flourish. They also have a new microgreen system, which is really cool. So it has these little wicks that attach to a water reservoir and they have these pads that grow the perfect amount of microgreens. I know with a lot of other kits, you'll grow them and you'll have so many that you can't eat right away. But these, they come in these small little pads. So it's perfect for like a single or mm -hmm. like a one or two time use. So yeah. really like that. So if you wanna check out Garden, our code is on the screen as well as our link. You can get $100 off. We will also have it in the description box as well. Yeah, definitely check them out. We have loved ours as we mentioned, and I think you'll love it too. So all the information is down below and let's get back into the next recipe. The next recipe we're making is a garlic and herb olive oil pasta. It's really simple to make. It's also great to make in advance and you can eat it throughout the week. My mom actually introduced us to this recipe probably two years ago, three years ago, but it's a favorite. So I wanted to share it again because it's something we make relatively often and it never disappoints. So let's get into it. We'll start out by salting some boiling water and then preparing our spaghetti according to package instructions. As that cooks, we'll add some olive oil to a heated pan and then add some garlic and red pepper flakes. We'll let the garlic saute with the red pepper flakes and then add in some fresh herbs. We'll continue to cook that on low heat and then once our spaghetti noodles are finished, we'll add them to the pan along with some pasta water and mix everything through until it's combined. Finally, we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice to our pasta and then grate in some dairy-free parm. We're using the Violife brand here but you can use any dairy-free parm of your choice. We'll mix the parm through and then we are ready to enjoy, but first we'll just top it off with some more dairy-free parm and fresh herbs, and let's dig in. Yeah, like Chris said, this is a really easy, simple pasta that is great when you're mm. feeling lazy, but you still want something that tastes fresh. You can add veggies to it, you can add greens to it, you can add whatever you want to it. We also normally add fresh oregano, but I realize it's really hard to find in the store. We had some in our garden the last time we made this, but we don't have any anymore. So dried oregano works great. It doesn't disappoint this recipe. It's and if you want it a little bit spicier, you can add some more red pepper flake. Yeah. Um, you uh, can also use butter if you want to use olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, I feel like butter would be good too, like butter noodles. Jerry free. Yeah, bean butter, of course. Don't you dare. <laughs> We're making a mess. This whole kitchen is destroyed right now. I need but. Make this recipe, it's it's a winner. It's a winner. All the recipes in this video are winners. Um, so yeah. I think we should stop talking. <laughs> we're done. The final recipe we're making today is something I grew up enjoying. My parents still make this pretty often. It's a broccoli robin sausage rigatoni dish. You can use any pasta you'd like, but I like to use rigatoni for it. Um, I feel like broccoli rob is a very underrated vegetable. Uh, it's got kind of like a bitterness, but it matches really well with vegan sausage. I feel like Beyond Meat here is a must use. Um, there's no other vegan sausage that really compares the hot Italian one to be specific. And this recipe is very simple. It comes together in about 30 minutes. It's just really good. There's no like sauce in it, but with the oil from the sausage and everything, it comes together really nice and is really full of flavor. Once again, we'll start off by salting some water and then add our broccoli rob to let that blanch for just a minute or two. Then we'll transfer that directly into an ice bath. As the broccoli rob cools, we'll cook the rest of our dish. So we have some hot Italian plant-based sausages. Once again, we're using the Beyond Meat brand here. We'll just let these cook up on both sides until they are nice and golden and crispy. Then we'll just remove them from the pan, but we don't want to clean it because we want to use all of the oil that was just released from the sausage to finish our dish. So we'll add some shallots here along with some garlic and we'll just let that cook through. Next, we'll add in a little bit of red pepper flakes. You can add as much or as little as you'd like along with the cooked broccoli rob and plant-based sausage. We're also adding in some diced sun-dried tomatoes here. We'll mix everything through along with our cooked pasta noodles. We're using rigatoni here, but you can use whatever pasta shape that you'd like. We're also gonna add in some dairy-free parm and mix that in. And then we are ready to serve. We're just gonna do a quick garnish of a little bit more dairy-free parm and fresh parsley, but both of these are totally optional. 
I'm so excited. Mm. Broccoli Rob's so mm. good. You never really grew up eating Broccoli Rob, right? Mm-mm. It was something we had pretty often. As a kid, I didn't really like it, but I grew to appreciate it as I got older. Because it does have that bitter flavor. I feel like if you want to make this more kid-friendly, if, like, your kids wouldn't like that, I think bro- just regular broccoli. Or broccolini. Yeah, it would be more, like, approachable flavor-wise. Yeah, mm. this is so good. I don't know. It just reminds me of my home and, like, my family, so it's special to me. This is his dad's recipe. He helped us make it um, for the blog, so mm-hmm. you will be trying a Petrolisi Classic. Wow. So my mom helped with one recipe today. My dad helped with another. So shout out to them. All the recipes are going to be linked down below, um, as always. And also you can use the hot or sweet Italian Beyond Sausage for this. Um, It does have a little bit of a kick. It's not bad, though. Like, as someone who does not like spicy things, I can eat it. So A little subtle. Just add. But yeah. This is really good. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite to... You know, they're all my favorite. They're all very different. I think the ZD's my favorite. Wow. That's the most decadent. Well, it's also because I didn't grow up eating it, but I like the one at Sabar also. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video, especially if you love pasta as much as we do. And we have... I assume you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't love yeah, pasta. Yeah, true. So. Yeah, comment down below. Let us know <laughs> what your favorite recipe would be. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you're going to make any of them, what were you going to say? I was just going to say we have a ton of pasta recipes on our website. If you're looking for more vegan pastas to make, we have some for every season, every occasion. And uh, we'll definitely be adding more because pasta is our favorite. Pasta is life. Rice is life. Rice is I life. feel like I love rice, but pasta is like... For me, it's rice. But I, I get it. It's but... like... For you, I understand. (laughs) But yeah, thank you. Uh, We'll see you next week with another Mm -hmm. video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. We post videos every week. We share recipes, reviews, taste tests. Vlogs. Vlogs. We have a lot of fun. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.